Hello, this is Connor Galvin here at the house at 709 Broad Street Ave in Naples, Florida doing an inspection for Jim for a new metal roof to replace his shingle roof right now. Um, before getting on the roof here, Jim, I just want to point something out to you. Uh, here on this underside here, you have what's called your fascia, and your fascia is actually rotted right here, um, and the gutter is currently connected into the fascia here. We're going to have to disconnect this gutter, and I will point something else out to you when I get up on the roof. Um, the other thing here is your soffit area here, and there's two ways that your ventilation works. The first way is going to be the intake, and you can see here that you just have this strip of soffit uh, that's a small strip here. It doesn't go across this full, uh, almost two foot stretch here, which means that, uh, that your home is currently underventilated, and when you're underventilated, you're not up to the Florida building code, and also you're going to be paying a lot more in energy costs, as well as decreasing the life of the roof, because now the shingles are getting baked from both the inside of the roof and the outside um, so I wanted to get up here on the roof here now I talked about the gutters being fastened into the fascia another thing with these gutters is you can actually see that there is ponding water currently in the gutter system so um, this is something that we might want to address because there's ponding water here it wasn't installed correctly from the get-go and that means that the gutters will probably start to leak down the road the other thing when we were looking at was the ventilation now you have inadequate uh, intake ventilation but you have adequate um, exhaust ventilation so um, we're okay on that aspect but it's definitely important to get that uh, in, in, excuse me that uh, intake the soft area fixed for you the last thing I wanted to show you here and it's the biggest issue is the actual shingles themselves Jim you can see here that you can just see the bare actually fiberglass even in the shingle here um, all the granules are starting to fall off and this is definitely a sign that the roof is at the end of its life here And this is just going to cause issues and even cause leaks down the road if it's not addressed uh, So I definitely think you're doing the right thing by getting some new estimates on a new roof and it is uh, at the end of its life